What's up guys, it is late in the summer and I wanna take you through some of the most important things that we're doing for elk prep, okay? It is late August here and three very important things. This is number one of the three keys you need to be doing for elk prep, deadlifting. Absolutely. Full body motion, so much of the body and mind is engaged in this lift. And, and when you're preparing for a hunt, it's not always physical, it's mental as well. So co-host Austin Kilgard is gonna be walking you through what I'm thinking about and what I'm focusing on when I'm deadlifting. Let's hit it. Let's do it. We've already we've already done our big big reps today. And so this is this is our cool down. There's a few reps to work on our range of motion. And Austin's gonna be talking you through it. Here we go. Alright, so get set up here. You're gonna want to keep the bar nice and close to you. Okay. Get your grip. Keep your heels planted. We don't want to press with the toes. You want to brace that stomach into the belt. Roll your lats back, keep your back tight so we don't round. Press through the heels, breathe out on the way up. Squeeze, good, keep the core tight. Return, keep that bar close. Nice straight path up and down. Breathe out, good. Good, keep the abs tight. We wanna keep that core strong. We wanna protect that low back. We wanna keep the back nice and tight. Good, working on back, hamstrings, core, glutes. Good full body motion. Good, nice job. Nice form. So, as you can, as you heard Austin say, I am all the way up to that bar. That bar is on my shins. Yeah. I am sat back in my heels, so my glutes, my hamstrings, and my lats are activated. Once those are activated, I am pushing my core as tight as I can. With or without a belt, I am tightening my core as tight as I can. And driving heels to the floor, pulling hips forward. So that is a deadlift. That is a proper deadlift, how to strengthen your entire body and mind for this coming elk season.